Hello, my name is Cora, and I'm going to demonstrate how to use your Enviro Energy Monitor. If you have just moved into your home, or the EE Monitor is new to you, welcome. You can use the buttons or the touchscreen display on your monitor to navigate to the pages you're most likely to use. The back button will take you back a screen. The down button will navigate down to further screens. Enter is to enter text or select an option, and the forward button will navigate forward to the next screen. Press continue and it will take you to the information screen, where you will find the most frequently asked questions. More FAQs are displayed on the website, which you can access by either scanning the QR code with an iPad, smartphone or laptop, or type into your computer browser or smartphone www.eemonitor.co.uk Easier still, just press video on the monitor to watch a demonstration at your convenience and as many times as you like. Press the back button to get back to the home screen. This screen displays your credit status and is the screen you are most likely to use. It shows you at a glance how much credit you have remaining and the estimated days of energy this will provide based on the last 24 hours of your usage. To help you manage your heating expenditure, a weekly message will appear to tell you how much money you could save if you choose to turn your heating down by one degree at the thermostat. To remove this message, simply press Acknowledge to return to your main home screen. Let's run through the rest of the screens. Press the flame button to display the estimated CO2 emissions from your energy consumption. Pressing the I button takes you to a CO2 summary screen where you can find your CO2 emissions for the last 24 hours and 7 days. Pressing the exit door returns you to the previous screen and pressing CO2 gets you back to the main home screen where your current credit status is displayed. Pressing the I button takes you to the information or summary screen, which shows your current credit, emergency credit, estimated days remaining, usage and cost over the last 24 hours and the last seven days, energy tariff and daily standing charge. Press the exit door and we will look at the last button on the main home screen which takes you through to a secondary menu to enable you to access other useful information. Selecting History will show you the most recently processed credit top-up. Select the exit door to go back and click on Information. This enables you to review FAQs, scan the QR code and play the video as many times as you like. The Engineer screen is for the sole use of an engineer if there is a fault with your monitor. There are many ways you can top up. You can either choose to top up from the comfort of your own home with a credit or debit card by pressing the top up button or you can wait until you receive further alerts. To make it easy, the address field is already filled in and assumes you are using a card registered to that address. You can use another card and just need to edit the address to where the card is registered. For your security, you have to enter your card details manually. This gives you the keyboard entry screen, where you type in the detail required, followed by Enter and then OK. If you make a mistake, use either the back arrow key or just touch Escape to come out of the process completely. In the second top-up screen, Select the type of card you are using, enter the card details, the amount you want to pay, and confirm. All the remaining screens are completed in the same way. It's as simple as that. You can also top up when reminded to by an alert. This screen will be displayed if you are running low on credit. If you select Ignore, you will notice your screen turns to amber, this means you have remaining credit of £2.50 or less. When you have used up all your credit, you have two options, either to top up now or to activate your emergency credit. 
This is an amount to help tide you over until you are next able to top up. When you have used 50% of your emergency credit level, the monitor will display another alert. Again, you can either top up now or ignore. If you choose ignore, your monitor will continue to display a debit until you get a final alert. No emergency credit remaining. Top up now. Which will take you back to the card address field we saw earlier. You can only use your emergency credit once and then you have to top up to continue energy supply. In the unlikely event that there is a system problem, you can insert a six-digit code from your paypoint receipt or get one from the call centre to enable you to top up manually. Once you have successfully entered the code, the following screen will display and your credit status will be updated when communication is re-established. There are other ways to top up. You can go to a paypoint outlet or do it online. You can, of course, always call us for more information on the Enviro Energy Helpline. Telephone 0115 955 between 9am and 5pm, Monday to Friday. And we will be happy to help. Your EE monitor will help you budget and manage your energy consumption with complete visibility of your credit status any time of the day or night, providing flexible payment options to enable topping up 24-7, 365 days a year. We are here to assist. Call us if you need any help.